Hey, bitch, I'm an East Coast native. Put my name with the greatest. I'm like Kobe with the Lakers. On the flight to Venezuela. All right, man. So uh, tell us your name and tell everybody where you're from. All right, man. My name is Tizo Sanchez. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. From East Tulsa. Uh, yeah, born and raised. Uh, where'd you graduate from? I graduated from uh, Tulsa Memorial. Okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, what are some things we don't know about you? Um, I used to play basketball. I was a basketball coach. Uh, just came home from Canada. Okay. Graduated school out there in Canada. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Um, so, did you play any sports coming up besides being a coach? Just basketball. Just basketball. I played basketball, a little bit of flag football. All right, <laughs> <That's> right. <crazy. laughs> All right. Uh, what position do you play in basketball? Uh, point guard. Point guard. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, how did you start doing music, and why did you start? Um, I used to sit in class, and I had this dude named uh, Lerone. Okay. Yeah, he used to rap around me all the time, and that picked it up. I picked it up off of that, and then my cousin did music, Young Quan. Young Quan. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Sure. So you were telling me a while ago. Um, how many? Do you have any children? Yeah, I got. I got, actually got three children. Three children. <laughs> yeah, man. two babies and, and one on the way. All right. Um, do you have any projects coming up? Mixtapes, albums? Yes, sir. We got East Tulsa General coming up. It's supposed to drop on the 25th, but we're gonna do some videos first and then drop it. So I gotta promote it better. So y'all better stand on the lookout for that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Um, out of all the artists in Tulsa, who would you work with and why? Um. I work with pretty much all the artists. I think I got some that might fit my style more. I think like uh, 51 June, I mess with him heavy. I know I could work with him. Uh, Phil Sosa, okay. Young Cuddy and me got something coming up soon. But yeah, really Phil Sosa, Mizzo, Young Kwan, I work with and, uh, Big Money T. Big Money T. She's the hardest girl in Tulsa. Big Money T. So, uh, are there any artists you look up in Tulsa specifically? Um. I wouldn't say I look up to artists. I would just say I'm interested in the competition, so I, I do listen to music to see what the competition is. But I wouldn't say I look up to them. Okay. Uh, you know, not to artists. To artists. So you just got your own style. Yeah, just, just kind of got my own style. Yeah, I, I try to fit a different lane. Okay. I'm trying to bring out the industry more than just trying to be a street yeah. artist, right. underground. So this question got to me. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. why do people compare you to Young Boy? Oh. <laughs> I think it's just because the beats I use. Okay. I, I don't think it's. I, I don't think I'm trying to sound like him. I think it's just more the beats I use. All right. Yeah, I, I, I use a lot of NBA Young Boys beats, like some of his tight beats. So. All right. It'll bring that sound out. Do you have any videos coming up? I actually do. Uh, Rose Petals. It'll be shot on February 11. I can't speak too much on the person shooting it, but it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Real soon. Good. Real soon. Do you feel like Tulsa promotion is good for artists? If not, why? I feel like some Tulsa promotion is good for the artists. Um, a lot of people like Indie Pod, just different different avenues. They they good for the artists, but some artists get more views than what the promotion get. So True. I feel like that's not really a help, you know. And I don't feel like people should be down about their votes and stuff because you probably get more views than that avenue anyway. Right. So what is this thing you call 600? Okay, so this is like our little brotherhood. We started this up like, i say like my 10th grade year. I'm 24 now, so. Okay. Yeah, my 10th grade year, we started up like this little brotherhood. It was probably like seven of us, and then we fell off, and it was like three of us, so. We all just stayed strong, man. We just 600. Okay, do y'all all do music, or just you? Just me. I'm the only one who do music. Everybody else pretty much got their own little lane. Okay. What does HG stand for? Oh, let me let me let me take that back one more time. Young Quan do music too. Okay. Six hundred. He do music too. But um, HG stands for Hooli Gang. Hooli Gang. Yeah, that's just cause we Hoolies, we crazy. Right. <laughs> we turn up. <laughs> I mean, so everyone's seeing on Instagram, everywhere else. Why are you using gorillas, and what does it stand for to you? Um, the gorilla, I just feel like it stands for solid. Okay. Like, all of us are solid. We don't really we don't do each other wrong. You know we. Stand on business and just try to stay good. So I feel like yeah, gorillas because we are we don't each other, each other chest for each other. You know, right. we go hard. That's why we use the gorilla. All right. Last question: What does BMG stand for? Okay, so BMG is a uh, Phil Sosa's brand. It's a uh, Black Mass Gang. Okay. I joined that because I feel like that was a good group for me. 
I fuck with their music, they mess with my music, and just coming from me being from East Tulsa and then being from West Tulsa, and then I play basketball in West Tulsa, so I got a lot of friends over there. Right. So it just fit perfect, and yeah, BMG is Black Mass Gang, that's Phil Sosa, Mizzo, and me. Okay. So, if you have any idea for 2020, what is your goal this year? What do you plan to achieve? My goal, I want to hit a million on a video. Okay. I want, to, I want to go hard and make that one song that everybody just cling to and it, it go up. That's my okay. goal for 2020. I want to take off and okay. do a lot more videos. I feel like I let a lot of stuff go with just doing trailers all the time instead of putting the actual videos out there. But as an artist, I got to move at my own time. I can't move on everybody else's time. I got to take it slow so I can get the full feel for it. Right. Okay. So outside of Tulsa, is there any artist you would work with in Oklahoma? In Oklahoma? Um... What's that one dude name? Uh, BMO Turp. Okay. BMO Turp. I fuck with him. Okay. I fuck with his music. And plus he just song with OG33. Okay. That was, that was some inspiration for me. So yeah. Right. Yeah, BMO Turp. So besides hitting a million views on YouTube, um, as well as your music, what is something that you consider achievement so far since your music has started? Um, an achievement, I feel like just with me only doing trailers and just dropping snippets of my music, they already comparing me to the top people. Okay. Like I don't get a lot of hatred to where they say I'm like one of the newcomers and people don't really look at me. I already get compared to Cuddy, Bash, Quan when they put me in talk. So that, I feel like that's one of the biggest achievements is actually being noticed in Tulsa and not just for sports because that's all I was for sports at one time. Right. Okay. All right, do you have anything else you want to say to your viewers, people watching? Uh, I want y'all to just stay tuned, man. A lot is coming up. Uh, my whole team is working. I want y'all to stay tuned. We're we going to do some big stuff this year, 2020. We're going to take over. Uh, shout out DMS Photography, you know. Hey. That's my boy over there. And yeah, we're going to get stuff going this year. It's All time right. to turn up. Last but not least, give everyone your Instagram where they can follow you, add you, check your music out. Everybody go check me out. Uh, my Instagram is Tizo Sanchez. Facebook, Tizo Sanchez. Uh, Snapchat is It's Guwap 600. So, I-T-S-G-O-O-W-A-P 600. And, yeah, go follow me. Go check me out. And I got a YouTube page coming too. It's going to be Tizo Sanchez 600. So, we're going to get this stuff going. Y'all going to see a lot more of him. Y'all stay tuned for this. Stay tuned. Me, bitch, I'm an East Coast native. Put my name with the greatest. I'm like Kobe with the Lakers. On the flight to Venezuela.